clean a few things up now. Let's have a look at the water pump. And this is what it looks like now. There's no play in there. That that feels that feels a nice snug uh, fit there. This little bolt-on elbow on the top. That was full of full of hard crusty stuff. I've cleaned that out, but it's still blocked. So I'll take that off. It'll be blocked in there somewhere. Uh, give that a clean up. I'll, I'll take off that grease nipple. Clean all that out. Let's see what it looks like. So, taking this off, and that's what I've got. So, I can't remember what that's for. I think they're probably a heater or something. Um, but there's nothing getting past there, was there? But these videos are quite handy because I've just took that off, and I can't remember if that went that way or that way. I think it was that way. I'll have to look back on the video and see uh, which way it goes. This bolt is still seized in this um, aluminium. So I screwed the whole thing on. I've dropped this bolt back in there. I've tried tapping this out from the other side, but it's stuck. So let's just see if this will move it. No. Still tight. A bit more soaking, a bit more heat. Well, it's looking less likely this is going to work. I've, I've drilled that out to get to some decent metal. That's a pretty big hole. I don't know if I'll be able to bridge that. We'll see. Time for some reassembly. I'm going to start putting these back in first. These are the oil plugs down the side of the engine and I've annealed these uh, copper washers and put those on just because they're easy. Um, I did wonder about taking the core plug out of the back of the engine. I've heard that some people get leaks off these core plugs and if that one leaks it's pretty much an engine out job to fix it. Anyway I took it out and it was as clean as anything behind there, so take your choice. But I'm quite pleased I took it out anyway, because you're never quite sure. But in my case, I didn't have to. So I'll get these back in, and then I'll fit the, uh, the shells and have a trial fit of a crank. This is, um, these are my uh, crank bearings, main bearings. And it, on the manufacturer, it doesn't list. It's 2.4, 2.8, and 3.8 Jaguar 56 to 79. And this seal was broken. So I'm not overly happy about that. But on the supplier's reference, it does list the 3.4. So hopefully they'll be right. But they were, they were shrink wrapped. So nobody's had these apart and tried them. So I've been told not to oil this surface, but I'm, I'm not going to put any oil on the on this uh, on this trial fit. Right, here's where I should be. So, correct box and a new set of shells. And what mine should have on standard. So, have another go, see if they fit. Right, these fit better. So, a dry fit first. 
I'm going to use some of this. Never used it before. A little piece of this on on the journal. Squash it down with a cap. Take it off and see how much it's spread. And according to this, it's a two-inch journal. That's about two and a half. Should be should squash out one thou. And see what it looks like. So those are my blobs of this stuff. So I've got about, about two thou. What does that say? Two between two and two and a half thou on all of those. So I think that's okay. Got a little bit too much end float, and end float's controlled by these thrust washers. And I had standard ones fitted, and I've got nearly eight thou. So I'm going to try and fit one new one, which will give that give me plus four thou, which might just correct it. So they'll just fit in on either side of that center main. Right, cranks in, pistons are in, and that all moves pretty nice. Um, a few sort of observations. For a 3.4 standard engine, I use, you want the Hastings kit, number 5782. I was given the wrong kit to start with and had some trouble with that, but that's sorted there. Um, for engine lube, I'm using this stuff, this Lucas assembly lube. It's very, very thick and sticky. Um, for the pistons, and the rings, I've just used engine oil. I, didn't, I felt that stuff was too thick and too heavy and I didn't want it burning on and gumming up. So I've just oiled those, which I think will be fine. Uh, one or two observations. I've put new... Um, is that gonna focus? I've put new rod bolts in here and if you do that just check this there's a little sh little chamfer there it's just catching the light on this old rod bolt and I'll, I'll put a picture on of what these new ones look like and some of them well the chamfers are terrible um, and that I think is quite important because that that just clears Clears the where the groove where the slot isn't cleaned out properly on the on on this side of the uh, the rod, and without that that chamfer, it just might not seat properly and just might not pull through enough. So double check that. And these are the later nuts rather than the uh, split pin type. And these are XJ6 um, bolts and nuts. And I've been told £37 for those. So just gonna ch I'll go around all these and check them all again and knock over the tabs. Um, better get this cap on here and then we'll start on trying to get this in. This is the shaft for the oil pump drive and the distributor drive. I'm going to get all these front gubbins on. Got my cam covers cleaned up. Not perfect, but a lot better.
there's my front cover. I'm not going to polish that, that would be a bit of a pig to do. And I don't want to lose points. Jaggy will never polish that. And water pump ready to go on. I had to replace this, um, this elbow. That was corroded through. So start putting it back together.